Hey my friends, how you doing? It's time for the October content pack and this time I did something really crazy because not only did I do an October bundle, I also did an online course that you can see right here. It's called Magical Autumn Light and you can by the way get it completely for free because I will include in the video description a link to Skillshare where you get two months Skillshare for free. Here is a small trailer of what the course will teach you. See you in a sec. I didn't just create the course this month, of course I also created an autumn content pack. So let's come to that, let's go over to Affinity Photo. And I really listened to your feedback, I really listened to what you said to me, what you want to have in those bundles. So I created a bundle this month and in the pro version you not only get 10 gradients and 10 gradient maps to edit your pictures, you also get a list with 20 different ideas for awesome autumn pictures. Every of these ideas comes with a preview picture and a description so you can go out there and just go crazy and creative with this list. And also I made a checklist on how to prepare for a photo shooting. For example, if you go out there with your kids, from coming up with the idea to packing all the costumes and makeup and your photo gear and then being out there and having everything you need, but also think about all the little details that you need to think about, like um, does the person smile, where does the person look, what is the hand position and also several tricks on how to get better and more natural looking photos. So that's in the checklist. It's really helpful because there's often so much you forget. Okay, let's get to the gradients. The first thing you want to do, of course, is to import the gradients. I show you how that works. So you go onto your swatches. If you don't see the swatches tab, go to view and then to studio and then to swatches down here and make sure there's a check mark next to that. Good. After you have found your swatches tab, there's this little icon here with the three lines. So click on that and then select import palette and then select as application palette. That's pretty important. So click on that and then go to the folder and there is Ollie's Autumn Gradients palette file. You click on that and open it and it will import the gradients. As you can see here, now I have it twice because I already have it in there uh, for myself. So this is the list of gradients. You have 10 different gradients that you can use for your autumn pictures. So how do they work? I've prepared two pictures here. One is this girl holding the lamp. The other one is this super cute forest animal, which I don't remember what's the English name for that anyways. Uh, let's go on. So I would suggest that you click down here and select a rectangle tool and then click and drag over all of your picture. I already have a gradient in there. Never mind that we will adjust it in a second. So you want to set the rectangle to the blend mode soft light like this. And then use over here on the left side your gradient tool and draw in a gradient over your picture. At the moment you can see it is a bit too intense. So we can of course reduce the opacity. In this case I would suggest to 50%. Good. So now with the rectangle selected and with the gradient drawn onto the rectangle you can simply click on these different gradients that I've prepared and you can see how they change the picture and the beautiful autumn atmosphere they bring in here and every one of those is a little bit different and of course you can adjust the gradient to what you want to have for example this one that goes from a midnight blue to a nice warm yellow you can use your gradient tool to have this in a different direction. So for example, if you have a landscape or something else, uh, you can use that in a different way. So let's look at the second picture and this I'm saying important to note this about here. 
So you see this picture and you see there is a lot of over like exposure in here. And of course, if you blend something with soft light, it doesn't really work that well on areas that are too bright. So you should use pictures that have mostly this medium values in here and not bright white values. Okay, so with this, I would suggest to simply create an adjustment for levels and then bring in the gamma to the right so the picture is getting a little bit darker so that these blown out white areas get gray and can pick up the color from the gradients. Good. Now let's turn on the gradient again. And in this case, maybe it's a little bit too weak. So you can again adjust your um, your opacity, I would suggest in this case 75%. And again, click through them and see if you find something that looks cool, that works with that picture that you like and is really what you want to have. And again, you can adjust the gradient, so really experiment and go with the flow, go with your uh, creativity to create something of your own. And as you can see here, for example, with this gradient here, with just one gradient, with just one click, basically, the picture massively improved. Okay, let's go over to the gradient maps and they work pretty differently, as you might know from my other tutorials. The problem here with gradient maps is you can't directly import them into your adjustments. The good thing is I found a workaround how you can still add them easily to your affinity photo. So what you're going to do is you get the file and when you open it, it looks like this. So what you need to do is you go to each of the gradients. You can turn them visible like here with the check mark. I think they are already all set to visible. I turned them invisible so I can preview them to you. So double click on that. It opens the window and here you see this little preset, add preset button. So click on that and then you basically write what is standing over here. You can also give it your own name if you want to. So let's say chocolate. Good. So now it's added. You might wonder where is it when it's added. The way you will find that is that you go here to adjustments and there it says gradient map. And here you now have a list. So you can see this is the default gradient map. But here's our warm chocolate, for example. You can click on that and you can see that this is the gradient. It's applied to your picture. Again, set the blend mode off your gradient adjustment to soft light. That is pretty important. And adjust the opacity because if it's at 100%, in most cases, or basically in all cases, it's too strong. So set it to what you feel is the best gradient for your picture. Let's go through the different gradients that I prepared for you. And by the way, if you're asking yourself, what's the difference between a gradient and a gradient map? The gradient map will assign new colors to the colors in your picture. From the dark values, like the blacks, to the light values, which is the whites in your picture, through all of those values, it will assign new colors. And it usually would look like this if you just applied the gradient map. And this is why I said set it to soft light and reduce the opacity. So let's put that back to soft light. And then we can go through the different uh, gradient maps that I prepared for you. So this is the warm chocolate one. Then we have medium chocolate and we have sweet berry, as you can see, very nice uh, violet tones in here, makes it very cozy and soft. Then uh, where's the other ones? There is honey mood, which makes it more warmer, gives it an orange touch. There's a pink mood, which of course gives it a pink touch and um, sandy sun. So you can see they are quite different, but in a more subtle way than the gradients that I showed you before. Uh, but they are very, very useful. You can see with just one adjustment, you can assign a really different personality to the picture and basically bring out a different story. They are starting points for your creativity. And of course, you can combine multiple of those if you want to, and you can also combine them with the gradients that I have shown you before. So have fun with the October bundle. I hope you really enjoy that. And also check out the Skillshare course. So. Have fun and see you soon. Bye.